There are many tools for dimensioning in AutoCAD to make your life a hundred times easier. One of these is Quick Dimension. It's sometimes known as QDIM for short as well. Q-D-I-M. Now what it allows you to do is it allows you to highlight geometry in the drawing and get a string of dimensions coming straight off of that geometry. So what I'm going to do here is double click on the wheel to zoom extents and still using the ground floor plan view here, what I'm going to do is do a string of dimensions down this side of the building here. Now I can go all the way from this end all the way up. Now make sure you are on your DIMS layer, on your annotation flyout, this is all on the home tab by the way, make sure that you've got project model as your dimension style. Now QDIM can be found on the annotate tab here, in the dimensions panel, it's this one with the little lightning symbol next to it, or you can just type QDIM like so, and press enter once it appears on the screen, and you can see there on the suggestion menu, the only one it finds is QDIM. So I'll just press enter there. Now it asks me to select the geometry I want to dimension. So I might zoom in a bit now. So let's pan, zoom in a little bit, and then you want to place a crossing selection across all the geometry that you want to dimension like that and click. Now press enter to confirm, providing you've got all the geometry selected that you want to dimension. You don't want to dimension the section lines, so holding down shift, you can click on those objects to remove them from the selection set like that. I'll zoom in a bit and pan, because I also want to deselect that dimension there. So I've got all the actual geometry selected like that, so what I need to do now is just press enter, and it brings all of the dims coming out. Can you see that? Even the walls it dimensions as well, can you see? So when I come out like that and click, it places an entire string of dimensions. Now the problem you've got there is if you look now, I've dimensioned absolutely everything. Can you see? Absolutely everything. So it can be quite messy. The trick is only to select the pieces of geometry that you want to dimension. So I'm just going to undo that a couple of steps and take it back to there. Now, the trick is here to highlight the objects that you want to dimension only. Now, if I zoom in, this is on a different layer, this is on a different layer, the sections are on a different layer. So what I need to do is go to the Home tab on the ribbon, and I need to freeze the layers that I don't need. So I go here, and if I look at my list of layers now, I don't need my section marks. They can be frozen, like so. Notice they disappear. Dimensions can actually be frozen, or can they? No, they can't in this case, because we need that layer. It's the current drafting layer and you cannot freeze the current drafting layer, plus we need dimensions because we're placing the objects on the dimensions layer. Other things that you might want to freeze off are things like the windows. So we need to look at windows and doors and glazing and things. So glazing, that can be frozen. And I'm just gonna zoom out slightly now and have a look at what I've actually frozen off the drawing. And look how much neater that is now. Can you see there's hardly anything in the way? Now all I need to do is select the geometry that I wish to actually dimension. Now you'll notice, can you see, that's a polyline. Now the reason we got all of those dimensions going across earlier was it tried to dimension all of that object, including bits here and bits in here. Explode the polyline. Doesn't matter, it's only walls, it's not like you're exploding a block or anything. So I can select that polyline like that, go to explode here on the modify panel. Now I can select the geometry very easily. Can you see that I actually want to dimension? So what I can do now is I can do this a lot more easily. So I go back to annotate here on the ribbon, go to queued in there and select the geometry. So I'll put my pick box there and I'll click and I'll drag up and through to there like that and click again. Now zoom in and just check what you've selected. So I've got those walls there, that's fine. Got those walls there. I don't want that dimension. So shift and just click on the dimension to deselect. Now that's a lot better. And this time when I press enter, you'll see that the dimensions are much, much neater. Can you see that? Now it may be that you don't want to dimension the walls, but in this case I do. So I'm just gonna take that to there and click, and there's all my dimensions there. Now, if I look at these dimensions, there's my 140 there. And what I've done here as well, remember, my annotation scale is still at one to 50. Remember that when you're dimensioning. Now that 140 there, is the wall dimension. Now I don't actually need that dimension to be perfectly honest. 
what I could do here is just show the internal dimensions. So these 140s could actually be deleted. So if I select that one, delete, I'm then dimensioning down to the next wall, which I will also delete. There's also some zeros in there. They can go as well. They're probably coming off of some of the internal walls there, like so. So you can see there now, all I'm dimensioning is the internal parts of the actual properties, the rooms themselves. So what I've got to do here, notice that's going all the way across to there. What I might want to do there is click on that grip and move that dimension line to that intersection there like that and tidy it up. Try and keep your extension lines and dimension lines away from the objects. Just makes life that little bit neater, that little bit tidier. If I zoom in now, let's lose these other 140s as well. So there's a 215 there that can go. There's also what looks like another smaller dimension there. Don't actually need those, and let's lose that 65 as well. And now you can see how quickly and easily that's allowed me to dimension that string of dimensions down there. Much, much quicker than having to go one, click, click, two, click, click. Again, though, it's food for thought that I dimensioned a lot of bits there that I didn't want, such as those internal wall dimensions and so on and so forth. You've got to be careful and you've got to be selective. Use things like shift and click to deselect the things you don't want to dimension when you're using QDIM or quick dimension.